This is a quick video demonstrating our ops check tool, which was designed to be a time saver uh, and to simplify the update process for software and modifications, which can be a little bit confusing for everyone to figure out, especially after, after they haven't flown for a couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months, what do they need to get ready to be able to fly with the group? So in our group policy is very simple, no later than an hour to the start of any given operation, uh, all members must perform an ops check. And the process is very simple. They simply navigate to the ops check, ops check tool and it immediately displays the status of all of the mandatory software or optional software and if there are any required things that need to be updated. So for this pilot, we can see that everything has a status of OK. So he knows he's set and doesn't need to update anything. Um, if he did need to update something, which I'll demonstrate, he could grab it from the locations that are here. Um, and where I've got OVGME specified, this is optional. Uh, I'm not currently using the repository feature, but um, if a group were having updates done via OVGME, they could specify that so that particular mod can be queried from the repository. Again, not currently using that, um, but that option is there. And so quite simply, what I would do is I would update the particular mod and then I would choose current and hit the update status. And I would know that I've got the latest versions of that. So if it was a mod that I couldn't install for some technical reason or whatever, I could specify can't co. And simply, if I update that, it will show enable. And that's just reporting back to the admin members that, hey, I couldn't get that thing installed for some reason. And that way, you can deal with that issue pre-operation or whatever the case may be. For the optional mods, we've got the additional ignore column. So if for some reason a mod I didn't have installed, I could basically specify ignore for those things. And this would actually prevent me from getting update alerts uh, when that mod is updated by the admins. And the tool underneath the covers has the ability to only display mods for me that are relevant to the squadrons or platforms that I, I fly in. So if I were just to update that, we'll see that I've got a couple of items listed uh, as ignore as well. So let's flip these back on and I'll quickly show it from the admin side. So again, the idea is I simply navigate, get my status, I know whether I need to update and it's very clear visually which mods are needed. So from the admin perspective, the tool is almost identical. Um, we've got the addition of the reporting function and of course the ability to add, edit, or remove any of the modifications. And you'll notice that as I'm going over this, some pop-ups um, are coming up. We've got a mouse over feature so that if you want it to specify instructions, configuration options for that, you can see what I've got here for Simple Radio, uh, those are available too. Again, this way it's just a self-service tool, reducing the time you need to help people get set up and figure out what they need. So let's go ahead and update a particular mod. Let's see, I'll just do simple radio. And you'll see if I were adding or changing, um, I could specify the restriction, what platforms uh, it applies to, um, whether it's software modification. In this case, let's just pretend that we're updating to the version. Actually, that is the current version. I need to do that myself. If I specify a link as the location, it will display a click here. If I specify any other text, it'll just show whatever text I did. So that's how that OVGME is rendering there. And then here's the mouse over text. So now that I've said require pilot update, I'll go ahead and submit that. And then both for me, because even though I'm an admin, obviously I might need to update and um, submit my compliance as well. And so let's say I've installed and I've got it, I would simply click current and then update my status. And now if I were to go back to the other pilot, right? If he were just to come back and navigate before an event, hey, do I need anything? He would clearly see that he needs to update Simple Radio. So it's very obvious to him what software needs to be updated. And that really is all there is to it from his perspective. Now, if I just go ahead and I, actually let's not update him. Let's just show very quickly how the admin members would determine if someone's done an update or not. So I can at any given time as an admin just click wing report and all that's going to do is just query everyone and see who's compliant or if there's any can't codes or um, what needs to be installed and updated, right? So for me, I'm clearly compliant. For Reaper, he can't code for item number 48, which is just the payload presets and he needs to install number five, which is the simple radio as I just changed that, right? Same thing for test pilot. So he's got no can't codes, um, but uh, he needs to install that. 
and these guys have never done an ops check before, so that's how a new pilot would show up in the list. And we can see Stretch has got quite a few of things that he can't co. So the function is very, very simple, both from a usage perspective and a reporting perspective. And the only thing we haven't built yet, just because it's work in progress, is ultimately, while this is an admin report, um, I thought it valuable for, uh, and our ops board is very, very much work in progress, but um, let's say there's an event and I've got, I don't know, 12 or so pilots in this particular event, and I'm not an admin, but I created this event, and I, I kind of want to know, did every, everyone who slotted up, have they gotten all the latest mods? So there'll be just be a button right here that whoever the operation creator, they'd run that button and it would give them the, the report for the members who slotted up for them. And that's the only function we haven't built because uh, again, ops check is, uh, excuse me, ops board is very much work in progress. So I hope this was useful uh, to anyone needs it and we are very, very happy to share.